How's it going, folks? Please remember to like us on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. We are here by the Chipping Green over at Blyfield Country Club, and I want to talk about the principles of chipping. And then we'll get in a little bit more about using your imagination and how this is such an individual stroke to you in the way that you want to kind of progress or, or chip around the green. Very unique to the individual. But I like to talk to people about the basics. To me, a chip shot is a lot like a putting stroke in the sense that we're not using a lot of body. It's basically our lever system that we're using going back and forth. And if you can imagine that putting stroke with the wide stance and you know, kind of making the triangle with our arms and, and the club there, our shoulders are the only thing that's really moving, right? That in terms of being different than a full shot where we're using a lot of body and turning and our footwork has to be good and dynamic. We have to have some element of weight shift. Well, we don't need that with a short game shot like a chip chip shot because it's so close. So one of the things that I like to mention to people in our setup is for one, our stance doesn't have to be very wide because we don't need the wide base and we don't need to use a lot of our lower half here. So our stance is going to be closer together and it's going to be slightly open. Okay, pretty textbook stuff there. And from the back camera there, you can see that with my body being a little more open, it gives me a little bit more of a feel of my target and where my target is, okay? Um, once again, we can get away with that because this is such a short game shot. This is one instance where we can kind of cheat a little bit and get the feel of our target. And it helps us a little bit with our depth perception and our target awareness. So feet close together, slightly open. I also like to feel like the majority of my weight, at least 60% of my weight is on the left foot, okay? And in terms of the actual stroke, just like our putting stroke, we're rocking our shoulders back and through without a lot of wrist action. And we're really trying to hit down on the golf ball and through the golf ball, accelerating through impact like we would in any shot, just to ensure that we're making good contact. Okay, so let's give that a try here. So you'll see my feet are close together, slightly open. 60% of the weight on that front side there. Hands are slightly in front of the ball. Back and through. Okay. If you might have noticed there from the back camera, the ball hopped up and then it rolled out. You might have also noticed from the front camera, when I finished my shot, the club head was below my hands. To me, that's the way we want to finish when we're hitting a chip shot. We don't want to have that club flip up where we're using our wrists. We want to make sure that the club head is staying below our hands and that we're using mostly shoulders to control that motion. Okay. Now there's some things that I do to kind of teach the right mechanics of that shoulder action. For one, I like to grab an alignment stick like you see in front of me here. I'll have you grab one of these and we'll connect it to our shaft and we'll have it sort of on our lead rib there and then we have our hands in that same position feet close you'll notice that if i chip and i finish with the club below my hands that stick never touches my body right but if i get here and i flip my hands and try to get that club head to be higher up or use my wrist that goes right into my rib cage and i can feel it so this is a good drill to help you understand that to make good contact we want to lead with our hands and we really want to make sure we stay connected with our arms and shoulders as we work through the shot okay you can hit golf balls with this device matter of fact i'll do one right now here and put that ball there and you're taking your stance and set up, no different, still feeling like the weight is forward. And we're really just trying to swing through connected without that stick hitting my rib as I go through. Okay, so that was a pretty good chip shot. And once again, the club head is below my hands. Another way to build that same feel, something that I use even for full swings and a lot of different aspects of golf. But I'll take one of these dollar store balls that you can buy, uh, little rubber balls here, and I'll have you just sort of hold that in place in between your forearms, okay? Same exact thing, taking our same stance and set up there, and we want to rock our shoulders back and through and keep everything connected, okay? We do not want to have a lot of wrist in this action. Wrists do not hold up under pressure. When we make things about tempo and timing, we can't really predict the, the, the result, especially under pressure in those situations where it's most important, okay? So both of those elements really help you with staying connected 
through the shot. Another thing that's important here, if you notice on those shots that I was hitting with the device or without it, I had really good tempo. One, two, everything went back as one piece and came through as one piece, okay? That connected feel of one, two, and not being in a rush to get back to the ball, like I see a lot of my, my students doing when we talk chip and short game. We want to have a good even keel tempo where we're still accelerating through the impact zone and making sure that we're controlling our distance by how far back we take the club and how far through we follow. Okay, so I have a great device that helps you with that. This is a little device I made with PVC pipe, string, and a little swing weight. Okay, you can make this a lot of different ways, but it's a simple device that we can hold like a golf club, okay, and take our same stance and setup. And we can practice trying to get that weight to work back and through and have our hands match that action. So if you notice, my hands and the weight are going back at the same tempo and through at the same tempo, okay? We don't want the hands to break as we go through, okay? So that's something to think about, and we're going to get into some more things here shortly.